really pleased with uh, where we are at this point. I uh, feel much better standing here today than I did a year ago as far as where we are as a football team, our physicality as a team, our togetherness as a team uh, as this moves forward. We got the right kind of guys. Uh, we just we got to get better. I mean, there's things we need to improve on, the things we need to clean up, some procedural issues offensively, obviously, in the game. Uh, but uh, had a lot of guys mixed and matched, and we, we showed some things we wanted to be able to do and, and let the quarterbacks go play. And I think we saw that both those guys throw the ball extremely well. They're both really good athletes and guys that can create some off-tempo off plays for us uh, as a football team. So very pleased with the day as far as making some explosive plays. Uh, I wore a blue shirt, so I was on the offensive side today. Um, go ahead. Any questions? Well, you've talked all spring, no separation between the quarterbacks. Was that kind of evident today how close those two are? The way it's very play? evident today. You see both guys take command of our football team. Both guys made vertical plays down the field, good decisions where they took the ball. Uh, there's no question that those, uh, you know, you saw what I've been seeing for 14 practices previous to today. Uh, and again, I've, I've said it before, we can win with both guys. Last year, unfortunately, we played with both of them. Right now, I'm really happy both of them played. It was tough to go through for them. Uh, because in, at any level, it uh, doesn't matter if it's high school, college, pro, uh, that the quarterback position is so critical. And to put that much on those young guys uh, uh, on a football team coming in here as true freshmen is tough. But, uh, but we're certainly benefited from him now. Well, you just talk about the comfort level because uh, the locker room was different than it was a year ago in there. there you know, and it's your comfort level, but also the other coaches. I think that you know everybody understands the expectation uh, of of the work ethic or what it's going to take to be successful. We were a very young football team last year. I said that you know defensively, if you look at number of starts coming into the season, we were considerably less than anyone else in the SEC. Um, you looked at our our experience being a line of scrimmage league on the offensive side of the ball with really John Halapio and Xavier Nixon being the only ones that have taken considerable snaps on the offensive line coming into the season. I said going into the last season, if John Brantley can stay healthy, it gives us a chance because of his experience uh, in playing in this league and understanding what it takes to be successful. We lose John in the fifth ball game of the year. Uh, with a young football team surrounding him at the receiver position. Deontay Thompson was the only really experienced player. Frankie Hammond had done some nice things. And obviously the running back position, which was our most productive position with Jeff Demps and Chris Rainey. Um, so defensively, we kind of grew and matured as the year went. We improved as the year went. Uh, and those guys now were in their sophomore years, did not play as much as freshmen have now have that year of experience, have that game time experience, and looking forward to those guys springboarding into this season.